What's the worst four-letter word that starts with F when it comes to travel? It's fear. And when it comes to fear, Americans are king. Anytime there's civil unrest or a natural disaster, we get worried, we get scared, we don't go. But what happens when you're already on the ground and you're over there when bad stuff happens? It all gets down to preparedness. You need a contact person. Who's your emergency person on the ground who you can contact, who you know you can depend on, not only there, but back in the U.S.? And then mobile phones aren't enough. Yes, it all gets down to communication, but just mobile phones won't always do the trick. Why? When the circuits go down, you go down, and yet get some international text messaging capability, and you'll find that the text messages seem to go through a whole lot better than just the phone calls. Then there's the subject of U.S. State Department advisories. I'm not a fan of them. Yes, I read them, but remember, the word is advisory. In fact, what I do instead, check the advisories from the British Foreign Office. I like them a lot better. And speaking of foreign offices, when the you-know-what hits the fan, the absolute last place you ever want to go overseas is the American Embassy. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but listen to me. It's the very first place that gets bunkered, closed, shut, and surrounded. Instead, head to the Canadian the British, or the Australian embassies. In my experience, when I've been overseas and things go wrong, guess what? They've always taken care of me.